I never thought that this was going to be an easy film. You've got to go to Nepal. You've got to shoot in the mountains. You need real weather and snow. It's a big scale movie. And it's not easy to shoot a movie about a mountain on a mountain. Up over my shoulder is the summit of Everest. It's 29,028 feet. 8,848 meters to move this many people around this high. It's never been done, but they really want to have that authenticity and they're getting it. To think about an entire crew getting up there every morning and the logistics that it takes to do that is extraordinary. There are times where you have helicopters flying over from one unit to the next unit, transferring an actor to a stunt scene or then bringing them back for something else or bringing food to the second unit, it was a sight to behold. The problem working in uh, these environments at high altitude is the acute man sickness. Headache, nausea, vomiting, that's when it's getting more serious. That's what's called moderate acute man sickness. It was dangerous for going up to the memorial and going too high too fast and having altitude sickness. So you have a camera guy sitting there and you know he's starting to feel like he has the most severe flu he's ever had and you're trying to do another scene but you don't even know your name because you're so altitude sick. You don't conquer a mountain. The mountain is something that you have to get to understand. You have to appreciate what's going on at any given time with the wind, with the amount of snow, how your own abilities and strengths at the time and the oxygen supplies and all of these things all come into play. There's no oxygen, P, no O. You've never felt volume and scale like that anywhere else on Earth is just so big. It really is the equivalent of being on the moon. If you get into trouble, you are on your own.